Hello everyone, I am Tanvi Kaur and I welcome you to this series called RBI 247. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try and discuss them with the help of different questions. So before moving on to question number one, if you are there for the very first time, you can subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon so that whenever a new video which can be helpful to you comes up, you can be notified about the same. You can also join our Telegram group. If you are looking forward for free PDFs of these sessions, then you can get the access to those PDFs through this group only. The link is in the description below. Moving ahead to the very first question now, which says, Recently, the Union Finance Minister undertook the annual performance review of the public sector banks and launched the ease 4.0 agenda. You have to identify the statements which are correctly related to this. So let's discuss a bit about this ease 4 agenda and then we'll come back to our question. So as the question mentions that the Union Finance Minister after doing the review has now launched the ease 4.0. What does EASE stands for? EASE stands for the Enhanced Access and Service Excellence Reform Agenda. So what is it? It will basically enhance the access of the banking service and ensure the excellence of services. So it's a common reform agenda for public sector banks that aims at institutionalizing clean and smart banking. So a set of reforms जिसकी तरफ हम work करते हैं ताकि हमारा banking sector और improve हो सके वो agenda है ease ease जो है वो clean and smart banking पे focus रखता है so what do we mean by clean and smart banking by clean banking I mean where there is clean credit where is there where there is leveraging of the data where you are ensuring the accountability where you are taking action against those who are defaulting okay and there is a proper mechanism for the NPA recovery so that is clean banking and by smart banking I mean where there is speedy uh, access to all kinds of banking services Speediness is ensured where there is multi-channel reach, where you have the accessibility as well as the affordability to different banking services. Then you are, there is responsiveness as well as it is technologically enhanced. So public sector banks have an agenda to improve the banking sector. And for this, they come up with different um objectives ahead in order to ensure clean and smart banking these objectives or these agendas are basically categorized under the ease reforms so let us discuss what has been the objective of ease 4 ease 1 may ease 2 may ease 3 may alag alag objectives rahe jo clean or smart banking ensure karte hain ab hum dekhte hain ki ease 4 ka focus kis pe hai iske under kya themes hain kya initiatives hain jin pe focus kiya ja raha hai ki kaise hum unhe ensure kare aur hamare banking sector ko aur strong efficient banaye so ease 4.0 commits public sector banks to tech enabled simplified and collaborative banking to further the agenda of customer centric digital transformation so we have to provide these banking services to the customers we need to make use of the different digital platforms we have the technology which we have so using the technology we need to provide these services in a simplified manner and a collaborative manner we need to bring together different nbfcs fintech firms and banks in order to provide the access to these banking services to the customers digitally as per their needs and wants so if I talk about the basic themes uh, proposed under this ease 4.0 agenda, then the very first thing is to ensure 247 banking. So under ease 4.0, the theme of new age 247 banking with resilient technology has been introduced to ensure uninterrupted availability of banking services. So is agenda can under focus hai ki 24-7 banking services provide ki jai taki koi interruption na ho un services ki availability mein towards the customers. Second focus is on the northeast region where the banks are, are required to come up with specific schemes in order to enhance the access of these banking services to the people in the northeast region. Third focus is on the bad bank. We have already had a discussion on the bad banks. 
that how they will be taking up the bad loans and helping up in the npa recovery and we also discussed that soon it is going to get a license of a bad bank okay so the proposed backed bank is very close to getting a license which will again give a support a major support to the banking services sector fourth is to raise the funds outside the banking sector now it's not just banks who are providing us the funding in fact banks not only rely on other banks but also on various nbfcs and other institutions to get the funding so with change times industries need an option of raising funds outside the banking sector and these new aspects need to be studied to target credit where it is needed so alag alag type ke jo institutions hai jo funding provide karate hai unhe saath milke ye banking services provide karni hai then is leveraging the fintech sector the companies which make use of technology in rendering the financial services are the fintech firms we need to use them and they are also going to provide these uh, services to the banking sector they will support the banks in rendering these banking services so fintech one such sector that can provide technological help to banks as well as benefit uh, as well as can benefit from help from the banking sector so fund fintech firms bank ko support kar sakti hai aur bank se support leke wo bhi flourish kar sakti hai and both have to work together is one of the agendas of this ease 4.0 then talking about the key initiatives which are going to be taken under this agenda to enhance the performance of the public sector banks they include your smart lending 24/7 banking data enabled agriculture financing or other financing and collaborating with the financial ecosystem so as far as the smart lending is concerned the public sector banks need to design and improve the performance of their loan initiation process simplify it and ensure some standard procedures and time bound actions jo bhi aap loans wagaira de rahe ho simple processes hone chahiye kuch standard operating procedures hone chahiye ki aise aapko loan milega simple procedure hona chahiye time bound manner mein ye services available ho jani chahiye banks need to introduce end to end digitized loans to the new customers digitally easily simplified manner mein customers tak loans pahunchne chahiye the lenders will have to focus on customizing loan terms interest rates processing charges for customers who are availing these digital loans based on their past performance or information from third party sources so whenever lenders are lending to different customers different borrowers they can get the information about their past behavior or their information from some third party information providers and accordingly they can devise the loan terms for these customers customers ke hisab se unhe loans do okay unki past record ke hisab se alag jagah se information collect karne ke basis pe aap decide karoge ki inko itne interest rate pe loan milna chahiye itne time ke liye milna chahiye itne charges hame inse charge karne chahiye so aap customize kar sakte ho loans as per the customers okay then the public sector banks will have to broaden their customer base increase the credit of takes through technology driven credit offers आपको कस्टमर का बेस बढ़ाना है जितना अच्छे से आप टेक्नोलॉजी का यूज करके ये सब कर सकते हो वो आपको करना है सो so, चीजों को सिंप्लीफाई करना टेक्नोलॉजी का यूज करना डिजिटली चीजें प्रोवाइड करना कस्टमाइज वे में प्रोवाइड करना स्मार्ट लेंडिंग के अंदर आता है मूविंग अ हेड नाउ टू ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन बैंकिंग सो दीज रिफॉर्म्स अंडर दीज रिफॉर्म्स पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक नीड टू ट्रैक the migration of their it systems to secure cloud based solutions so aapke jo existing it systems hai unse aapko aur improve karna hai cloud based solutions adopt karne hai aur in sab ke liye aapko board approved policy ki zarurat hai the public sector banks need to conduct time bound audits testing in line with the board approved policies jo bhi aap banking services provide kar rahe ho usme aap technology ko improve karo time to time audit karo test karo ki aap sahi ja rahe ho ki nahi the public sector banks will have to strengthen the cyber resilience you need to protect these uh, uh, banking services which you are providing digitally using the technology from the cyber attacks so aapko aur improve karna hai technology mein cyber resilience ensure karni hai aur jo cyber attacks ka threat hai usko rokna hai use kam karna hai then is to collaborate with the financial ecosystem 
So public sector banks need to collaborate with the NBFCs to co-lend, okay, and to build their co-lending models with IT integration. So you technology ka use karke NBFCs or banks mil ke lend kar sakte hain, mil ke better access provide kara sakte hain customers ko banking services ka. The banks will have to design and improve the performance of loan management systems, loan monitoring systems to facilitate co-lending with NBFCs. You have to focus on loan management, loan monitoring, so that you can lend in a better way mein co -lend kar pao to the customers. The public sector banks will be providing doorstep delivery of banking services. आपको घर बैठे सारी सर्विसेज मिल जाएंगी बी इट बैंकिंग एजेंट विजिटिंग यू और बी इट डिजिटल मेकिंग यूज ऑफ डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म्स टू गेट दी एक्सेस टू बैंकिंग सर्विस एट योर डोर स्टेप हमें मेक श्योर sure करना है कि हम घर तक सारी बैंकिंग सर्विसेज लोगों तक पहुंचाएं मूविंग अहेड नाउ टू द टेक इनेबल्ड इजी बैंकिंग सर्विसेज सो एज सजेस्टेड टेक इनेबल्ड सो हमें टेक्नोलॉजी का यूज करके बेटर वे में बैंकिंग सर्विसेज प्रोवाइड करनी है सो ईज फोर पॉइंट ओ रिफॉर्म्स गाइड बैंक टू एस्टेब्लिश अउटबाउंड कॉल सेंटर बेस्ड कस्टमर आउटरीच टू रिटेल एम एस एम ई कस्टमर बेस इन रीजनल लैंग्वेजेस अकॉर्डिंग टू कस्टमर प्रेफरेंसेज हमें कॉल सेंटर सेट करने हैं जो रिटेल कस्टमर्स एम एस एम ई कस्टमर्स को उनकी रीजनल लैंग्वेज में इन बैंकिंग सर्विसेज की जो भी प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम हैं सर्विसेज अवेल कराना है वो सब करवाने में हेल्प कर सकें बैंक्स विल ड्राइव एन एक्सपेंशन इन अडोप्टिंग दी डिजिटल पेमेंट्स इन सेमी अर्बन एंड रूरल एरिया सो वी नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट the uh, semi urban areas the rural areas also have the access to these digital banking services the reforms are also directed towards systematic reduction in the customer complaints and time bound remedy for their complaints so hame customer complaints handle karni hai time bound manner mein handle karni hai iske liye hum technology ka use karke aur improve kar sakte hain public sector banks will be working to improve their presence marketing social media engagement on internet by adopting the websites search engine optimization digital marketing tools so not only we have to um, basically redress the customer complaints but we also need to increase our as a bank we also need to increase our presence our marketing basically the customers should know about the banks the banking services so more and more um, uh, promotion should be done on the social media platforms and uh, the digital tools which people are often often using these days then the public sector banks will have to carry out the risk assessment identify key risk areas and um, uh, improve the effectiveness of their it based early warning system so you need to focus on proper risk management as a bank you need to have different processes procedures in place to handle those risks okay you can make use of technology where different technological softwares can help you identify the risk which are basically early warning signals so aap risk ko identify karke turant hi improve kar sakte ho taki wo major problem aage jaake na ban jaye All right. So this was a bit about Ease 4.0. Now coming back to our question, which of these statement is correct? So first one is incorrect because it says E stands for efficiency, accessibility, simplification, excellence, agenda. No, it stands for enhanced access and service excellence reform agenda. Second one is correct that it come Ease 4.0 commits to tech enabled. a uh, simplified collaborative banking and the third one is also correct which says smart lending 247 banking tech enabled easy banking are some of its initiatives so second and third are correct that's why answer is option d moving ahead to question number 2 and next topic of the day which says frio has tied up with equitas small finance bank to launch zero balance savings account that will offer 7% interest rate on a minimum balance of rupee 1 lakh that will allow customers to make informed financial decisions and strengthen their credit profile so entities like frio that is the one which i discussed in this case are essentially the tech platforms are essentially the tech platforms premised on the idea of banking without physical branches this is a really very important statement which will help you answer this question so entities like frio are tech platforms premised on the idea of banking without physical branches these players partner with the traditional banks 
and offer better solutions by using technology such as artificial intelligence and machine learning so you have to identify these this concept what is what type of entity is freeo where which is offering the services to the customers uh, utilizing the technology by having link up with a bank like a equita small finance bank in this case so the entities where which uh, don't have a physical presence but they provide the banking services because they are having partnerships with the traditional banks and they utilize the technology to provide these banking services such entities are called neo banks so the answer to this question is option d neo bank so let's discuss this very case and then we'll be discussing what are neo banks so as discussed in the question neo bank freeo has tied up with the equita small finance bank and with its partnership with this bank it is offering the customers zero balance saving account with 7% interest rate where minimum balance should be 1 lakh so freeo jo hai ye ek uh, neo bank hai jiska tie up kis traditional bank ke sath hai equita small finance bank ke sath so iske sath link up ho ke ye freeo jo hai ye customers ko जीरो बैलेंस सेविंग्स अकाउंट ऑफर कर रहे हैं सेवन परसेंट इंटरेस्ट रेट पे अकॉर्डिंग टू द नियो बैंक द न्यू प्रोडक्ट विल अलाउ कस्टमर्स टू मेक इनफॉर्म फाइनेंशियल डिसीजन एंड इट विल स्ट्रेंथन देयर क्रेडिट प्रोफाइल एंड इट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस जीरो बैलेंस सेविंग्स अकाउंट एंड इंटरेस्ट ऑफ सेवन परसेंट इट विल ऑल्सो ऑफर द सर्विस ऑफ यू पी आई सो जो भी फ्रीओ के कस्टमर्स होंगे वो सेविंग्स अकाउंट खोल सकते हैं और साथ ही साथ उस अकाउंट से यू पी आई ट्रांजेक्शन करके अलग अलग बिल्स वगैरह पे कर सकते हैं यूजिंग यू पी आई दे कैन ईजिली ट्रांसफर द फंड पे द बिल्स ओके सो इक्विटा स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक पार्टनरशिप विद फ्रीओ विल हेल्प एलिवेट द एक्सेस ऑफ फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज बाय रीचिंग आउट टू यूथ फैमिलीज पीपल सो जब कोई नियो बैंक किसी और ट्रेडिशनल बैंक के साथ लिंक करके सर्विसेज प्रोवाइड करा रहा है और ऐसे बहुत सारे बैंक ऐसा कर कर रहे हैं तो उससे लोगों तक ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज इजीली पहुँचेंगी जहाँ फिजिकल ब्रांचेस नहीं हो सकती बैंक्स की वहाँ ये नियो बैंक वर्क करके लोगों तक फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज पहुँचाएंगे सो फार अंडर इट्स मनी टैप सर्विस फ्रीओ हैज़ गिवन लोन्स ओके सो फ्रीओ अब तक लोन्स तो प्रोवाइड करता था अब उसने सेविंग्स अकाउंट की फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइड करना भी शुरू कर दिया है सो फ्रॉम दिस यू वुड हैव गॉट एन आइडिया अबाउट वॉट आर नियो बैंक बट लेट मी डिस्कस इट वंस अगेन नियो बैंक प्ले अ रियली वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट रोल बिकॉज दे मेक बैंकिंग मोर कन्वीनियंट एंड मीनिंगफुल एंड फाइनेंशियल टेक्नोलॉजी स्टार्टअप आर लॉन्चिंग द नियो बैंक सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दीज बैंक दीज प्लेयर्स पार्टनर विद द ट्रेडिशनल बैंक एंड दे ऑफर सोल्यूशन यूजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी लाइक आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस मशीन लर्निंग so they are uh, the firms which uh, are based on the premise of ensuring the access to financial service the banking service without having physical branches so koi physical branches set up nahi hoti in neo banks ki lekin ye banking services zarur provide karte hain customers ko kyunki ye technology ka use karke hamare jo traditional banks hain unke sath partnership mein rehte hain Neo bank is a term used for a fintech firm providing banking service. The, they provide various services. क्या क्या type की services ये provide करते हैं Savings account, instant loans, credit card, mutual fund, fixed deposit. Okay. So uh, if a, so there can be any neo bank, say Razor Pay X, it can have a partnership with any traditional bank, say any small finance bank, any commercial bank. Okay. and you as a customer when is getting the saving or the service of savings account at razor pay that account actually gets opened with this sfb or this commercial bank but you as a customer are the uh, client of razor pay x only you it will be like you are opening account over there but they will not have any physical branch rather that they will partner with the some uh, traditional bank to provide that service to you all right so these are few examples of the neo banks the razor pay x walrus neo uh, inst insta the app paylo and there are many more so neo banks have apps that help you analyze and track your spending 
the tie ups of neo banks with small banks also allow them to offer higher interest rates on your savings account so ye apps ke through function karte hain aur inka kahin na kahin kisi na kisi bank ke sath partnership hoti hai jis wajah se ye aapko wo services provide kara pa rahe hain inka model थोड़ा सा फ़र्क है बट इनका जो प्रॉफिट्स जनरेट होते हैं वो उसी प्रोसेस से होते हैं जैसे आप बैंक्स के साथ होते हैं कि आप बैंक को डिपॉजिट दोगे बैंक उसको लोन्स जेंड करने में यूज़ करेंगे और मीन वो प्रॉफिट कमाएंगे बट डिफरेंस ये है कि इनकी फिजिकल प्रेजेंस नहीं होती ये किसी फिजिकल फिजिकली लोकेटेड ब्रांच के साथ पार्टनरशिप में रह के आपको वो बैंकिंग सर्विसेज देते हैं A single neo bank can tie up with multiple regulated banks to offer different products. एक bank के साथ link होके वो savings account offer कर सकते हैं दूसरे banks के साथ link होके वो कोई foreign exchange transfers facilitate कर सकते हैं This is how they can function. But there are some risks associated. आपने सपोज फ्रीओ बैंक के साथ अपना सेविंग्स अकाउंट खोला क्योंकि आपको लगता है कि फ्रीओ नियो बैंक अच्छा है इसका लिंक अब का किसी स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक के साथ जैसे कि इक्विटास है हमारे केस में अब अगर इक्विटास जो है द दिस वेरी बैंक गोज बस्ट ये फेल हो जाता है इसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम आती है तो जो कस्टमर्स ने फ्रीओ में अपना सेविंग्स अकाउंट खोला था जो फर्दर इस बैंक में था जिसके साथ इस फ्रीओ का टाइप था तो आपका जो अमाउंट है वो भी प्रोटेक्टेड नहीं रहेगा पाँच लाख तक का अमाउंट बैंक को प्रोटेक्शन में मिलता है कि डिपॉजिट इंश्योरेंस के फॉर्म में होता है वो तो मिल जाएगा कस्टमर्स को उसके बियॉन्ड कस्टमर का पैसा रिस्क पे है सो इफ द बैक एंड बैंक जो है दैट गोज बस्ट देन योर न्यू बैंक कस्टमर्स आर गोइंग टू सफर मोर ओवर द बैक एंड बैंक कैन ऑल्सो ड्रॉप द इंटरेस्ट रेट सो इन दैट इज ऑल्सो द न्यू बैंक कस्टमर्स विल सफर then if the relationship between this neo bank and this back end bank is sour it gets deteriorated then also the customers of neo bank are going to suffer so these kinds of risks are there that's why you need to take some precautions while deciding which neo bank to go for so neo bank mein agar aap koi account khula rahe ho koi service le rahe ho to aapko kuch cheeze check karni chahiye you need to check that which is the back end bank how financially strong it is अगर आप फ्रीओ के साथ से अपनी कोई बैंकिंग सर्विस ले रहे हो तो उसका टाइप किस बैंक के साथ है जैसे कि यहाँ पे इक्विटास के साथ है सो so, वो जिस बैंक के साथ लिंक रखता है वो बैंक फाइनेंशियली कितना स्ट्रॉन्ग है ये सब चीज़ें आपको चेक करनी चाहिए यू हैव टू चेक इफ द नियो बैंक कोर स्ट्रेंथ अलाइन विद योर नीड्स नाउ देर माइट बी डिफरेंट नियो बैंक नियो बैंक वन टू थ्री ओके This neo bank may specialize in savings account. This may specialize in providing loans. This may specialize in some third thing. Okay, so you need to see what is your need, and then you need to see uh, what which bank, which neo bank is uh, basically specializing in that service, and then you should choose your neo bank. Okay, this is how vigilant you should be when choosing your neo bank. So this was all about neo banks. We have already answered this question. Now moving on to last question of the day, which says RBI released the report of expert committee formulated under the chairmanship of former RBI Deputy Governor N S Vishwanathan on primary urban cooperative banks. You have to identify the incorrect statement in this regard. So here incorrect word है इसका ध्यान रखना. So RBI uh, की website पे एक report आई है एक expert committee की. और वो एक्सपर्ट कमेटी जो है इट वाज चेयर्ड बाय एन विश्वनाथन हु वाज द फॉर्मर आरबीआई डेप्यूटी गवर्नर सो ये जो कमेटी है इन्होंने प्राइमरी अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स वाला जो सेक्टर है उसको इम्प्रूव करने के लिए कुछ रिकमेंडेशंस दिए हैं इनके बारे में हम देखते हैं एंड देन वील कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन सो दिस कमेटी हेडेड बाय एन एस विश्वनाथन हैज कम अप विद सम रिकमेंडेशन फ्रॉम फॉर द प्राइमरी अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक Okay, it was in February that this committee was set up in order to examine the issues and provide a roadmap for strengthening this sector. Urban cooperative banks को strengthen करने के लिए ये committee बनाई गई थी जिसने कुछ recommendations दिए हैं कि कैसे हम इस sector की performance को और improve कर सकते हैं So the the committee has now submitted the report. This report has been placed on the RBI website so that Uh, to invite the comments from stakeholders and members of public and then finally RBI will decide which recommendations to implement and which ones not so jab wo uh, final decision hoga jo bhi 
डिसीजंस लिए जाएंगे आरबीआई के थ्रू हम लोग वो भी डिस्कस करेंगे बट अभी कुछ मेजर हाईलाइट्स डिस्कस कर लेते हैं इस कमेटी की रिकमेंडेशंस के सो द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट दिस कमेटी हैज सजेस्टेड दैट द अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स शुड बी डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर कैटेगरीज सो अ फोर टीयर स्ट्रक्चर हैज बीन सजेस्टेड एंड based on their sizes based on the deposits they get this classification is there now it has prescribed different capital adequacy and regulatory reforms for them so size alag alag size ke basis pe hum urban cooperative banks ko classify karenge aur aisa kyu karenge taki kitna exposure hai unka customer ki deposits ki taraf us basis pe hum decide kar sake ki inme kya rules regulations applicable hone chahiye kitni capital adequacy hone chahiye kya regulatory reforms hone chahiye so bank ki capabilities ke basis pe hum regulations ke sath aa sake is reason ki wajah se humne ye classification kiya hai so we have tier 1 ucbs where the deposits will be of uh, up to 100 crores tier 2 where deposits will range between 100 to 1000 crores tier 3 where it will range between 1000 to 10000 crores and then we have tier 4 which will range above the 10000 crores all right so based on this the crar and all will be decided okay it will be 9 to 15% for these tier 1 2 and 3 and for tier 4 the basel norms will be whatever crr is recommended by basel norms that will be applicable the committee has prescribed separate ceilings for home loans loan against gold unsecured loans for different categories of ucb so kis category ki ucb hai us basis pe hi alag alag limitations lagai gayi hai ceiling lagai gayi hai alag alag type ke loans jo ye ucbs de sakte hain so ye first recommendation hai second is that rbi can prepare scheme of compulsory amalgamation and reconstruction this may be resorted to when required voluntary actions are not coming or leading to desired results so aapka jo bhi ucb hai uski performance itni achhi nahi hai wo individually work nahi kar sakta it needs to merge with some other ucb so ye merger jo hai ye important hai lekin voluntarily ye log aapas mein merge nahi kar rahe to rbi jo hai wo compulsory amalgamation जो है वो कर सकता है इन बैंक्स का आर बी आई शुड नॉट हेजिटेट टू यूज द रूट ऑफ मैंडेटरी मर्जर टू रिजॉल्व यू सी बीज दैट डो नॉट नीड द प्रोडेंशियल रिक्वायरमेंट्स आफ्टर गिविंग दम अपॉर्चुनिटी टू गो फॉर वॉलेंट्री रेजोल्यूशन वॉलेंट्री सोल्यूशन ऑल राइट थर्ड थिंग इज द सुपरवाइजरी एक्शन फ्रेमवर्क अब तक जो सुपरवाइजरी एक्शन फ्रेमवर्क था वो अराउंड थ्री इंडिकेटर्स पर फोकस रखता था अब और टाइम बाउंड रेमेडी की तरफ बढ़ने के लिए जो भी फाइनेंशियल स्ट्रेस है बैंक्स में वो जल्द से जल्द सॉल्व हो इसके लिए अब हमें ट्विन इंडिकेटर अप्रोच यूज़ करनी है जहाँ पे हम एन एन पी ए के थ्रू जल्द से जल्द असेट क्वालिटी कैसी है वो असेस करेंगे और सी आर ए आर के थ्रू हम असेस करेंगे कि बैंक इनफ कैपिटल मेनटेन कर रहे हैं कि नहीं सो सुपरवाइजरी एक्शन फ्रेमवर्क हैज नाउ मूव दैड टू गो फॉर अ टू इन ट्विन इंडिकेटर अप्रोच वेयर इट विल बी असेसिंग दी asset quality using nnpa and capital adequacy using crr instead of triple indicators which were used at present the objective as i have already told is to ensure time bound remedy to the financial stress in the banks if a ucb remains under more stringent stages for a pre prolonged period of time then obviously there will be an adverse impact on its operations and uski jo bhi financial position hai wo erode ho sakti hai moving ahead now The panel has also suggested the amendments to the Banking Regulation Act, empowering RBI to declare certain securities to facilitate their listing and trading on stock exchange. So, हम Banking Regulation Act में भी कुछ amendments कर रहे हैं ताकि जो भी UCBs अपने shares issue करती हैं, उनको properly जो securities issue करती हैं, उन्हें list किया जा सके stock exchanges में और वो trade हो सके. then it has also the committee has also recommended setting up of a umbrella organization ek umbrella organization hame set up karni hai jo oversee karegi in ucbs ki working ko unhe supervise karegi kitni efficiently wo work kar rahe hain so ye supervision ke liye us umbrella organization ko khud bhi financially strong hona hoga proper professionals hone chahiye wahan jo ye sab supervision karenge so the committee has proposed setting up of a umbrella organization and that organization should have a minimum capital of 300 crores why because it should itself be a strong entity okay 
and it should have a regulatory framework like that of NBFCs. And this committee has proposed setting up an umbrella organization for a purpose. And what's that purpose? The purpose is to oversee the cooperative banks. So, unko supervise karna, unki working pe check rakna uh, is the basic objective. The, uh, uh, the umbrella organization should be financially strong and be governed by professional board, senior management. And this umbrella organization is going to play a crucial role to strengthen this UCB sector. Now, we have also expected that in long run, mein ja ke, jo ye umbrella organization will become a self-regulatory organization ban jayegi, smaller UCBs. Ke liye. So, these smaller UCBs will uh, rules, regulations, banayegi, unhe supervise karegi. In long run, the umbrella organization may take up self-regulatory role for smaller UCBs where it will run the audit, inspection, supervisory uh, division uh, for the supervision of these smaller UCBs. All right. So this was all about this UCB. Now coming back, the UCB structure suggested the recommendations which have been suggested by this committee. Coming back to the question, we had to identify the incorrect statement. First is correct, 40 year structure has been suggested. Third, uh, second is also correct, which says uh, that the RBI can go for com compulsory amalgamation. But your third one is incorrect because it says SAF focuses on one indicator approach instead of twin. No, instead of three indicators, now it focuses on twin indicators. Okay, so the third one is incorrect. That's why answer is option B because we had to identify the incorrect statement. This was all for today's session. I hope the session was useful for you. With this, I would like to end up this session. Thank you so much.